What if I'm not good looking enough? What if I do not want to be in the limelight? What if I do not have the confidence to be on camera? What if I embarrass myself and say something stupid? This is one of those few things that could be stopping some of you from ever taking that first step of creating content on YouTube. And that is why today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make $100 a day on YouTube very conservatively without shooting videos, without having your face on the videos. And I'm gonna give you an entire business model that you can literally copy and deploy right after you understand these different principles. Now, right now, there are tons and tons of videos across all these different niches. It could be in sports, football, basketball, it could be computer games, it could be compilation videos across different markets, it could be funny cat dog videos. Whatever it is, if you were to look up these different channels, you will notice that there are tons of channels out there with millions of views where the person behind the channel doesn't show their face. And I'm gonna be showing you a couple of different examples where you can see across all these different niches, there are millions of views. And by the way, we'll be talking about monetization and a very typical payout from YouTube, uh, they call it CPM, is about approximately $3. Now, without being technical, what that means is for every 1,000 views, you can get paid approximately $3 for every 1,000 views. So depending on the market, depending on niche, sometimes it's higher if it's like related to do with money or investing, or it could be slightly lower dep depending on who it is that's actually watching it based on their buying power. But a very approximate average is about $3 for 1,000 views. Now, so what does that mean? So if you start taking a look at all these other videos there, whether it is on sports, top goals or top slam dunks from Michael Jordan. If you take a look at the top 10 compilations of whether it's playing computer games, whether it's sports, whether it's uh, conspiracy theories, you'll see that there are tons of videos there that are just compilations of other people's work. And I'm going to be showing you how do you ethically do it? How do you morally do it? How do you do it the right way so that you optimize it as well as monetize? So it's going to be a five-step process that I'm going to walk you through. And the way we do that is we are going to begin with step number one. And step number one is basically picking a niche or a certain theme to it. Now, picking a niche is not necessarily deep enough. So you, you want to have a theme. So many times people think that, oh, a niche is like gaming or like fitness. That's not enough for a YouTube channel. So step number one is to pick a theme. So for example, let's say if you know my story, I started out being like really, really a computer gaming addict. Um, I would play like 15 hours a day in my college days. And so let's see, let's, let's begin with that. So I'm gonna do an actual example. And what I'm going to do is, for example, a game that I still play is Overwatch, that I still play once in a while, not hardcore, but pretty casual. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna think about a specific theme to my channel. It could be Overwatch, it could be basketball. Um, really understanding who do I wanna serve. It could be Olympic lifts. It could be the keto diet. Pick a specific theme where all of your content is going to revolve around that topic, okay? So that's number one. Now, once I select a theme, which is gonna be pretty straightforward, the next thing that I'm going to do is, and that brings me to number two, number two is about doing keyword research within that theme, okay? So what you wanna do next is to really pick and drill down what are people searching for um, within within that market, okay? Now, a great way is to utilize YouTube's search itself, and this is what I would do, okay? So let's say a, a computer game that I play, Overwatch. I'm just gonna type in A. So I'm gonna type in Overwatch animation characters, all characters, Anna, Asha, all these are just the character names, right? Anime, opening, animated. Um, and so I'm just gonna go through the different keywords within that niche to start giving me ideas on what type of content that I could be creating, right? So now YouTube is giving me all these different ideas. 
And and by the way, if you don't know these terms, I don't expect you to because these are just like the, the name of characters within the game. But this gives me a really good idea. I'm going to go with A, B, C, D, E. So all the way to start giving me ideas on what keywords can I be targeting. So that's number two, right? Number two is doing your keyword research. I want to start thinking about what are the different type of content that I could be compiling later on. And I'm going to be showing you how to do it the right way so you don't get copyright striked so that you are not in violation of the terms of service. So this is one method, right? Another great keyword research is utilizing, so for example, the term top five. So it could be top five Overwatch characters, top five plays, and I could really dr drill in deeper as well, right? Let's say I could type in plays, and same thing here, I could start with top five Overwatch, then A, top five Overwatch, B, right? So now I'm trying to get different keywords to start creating compilations, right? So now I know by looking at this, I could be creating top five Overwatch characters for beginners, top five strongest, top five Overwatch plays, right? Now, what does this mean? It means that, can you imagine if you went into, let's say, basketball, okay? Let's use basketball. So when I type this in, top five basketball players, shoes, what if I typed in top five, for example, Michael Jordan plays, for example, okay? Let, 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 let's, let's, let's take a look and see what happens. Okay, For, first of all, take a look at this, okay? Top 50 Michael Jordan all-time plays. This video, by the way, has got 70 million views. Now, this is what I'm trying to get you to start seeing. So if you start seeing this and created compilations of all these different players out there, all of the legends, okay? Michael Jordan is just one person, but can you imagine if you went through a list and started compiling? So let's take a look at this, okay? So if I clicked on this video over here, my name is Billy Jean. Now look at this. Okay, pause one second. Okay. Now, <laughs> Billy Jean's ad here of him being upside down. Now, what does that tell you, first of all? It tells you that because this ad is served on this video, it means that this video is able to monetize. That's the first example I want you to see. Okay. So understand that this has got 70 million views. Like I said, a very typical CPM. I'm gonna have to use my calculator here because the math isn't that great but a thousand views is approximately $3. That means that if you could have 1 million views, 1 million views is about $3,000. 7 million, this would be $21,000 from one video. One video that was uploaded in 2013 is, and, and guess what, it doesn't end here. It's still going to continue growing and making money from this one video. Okay, now that's what I want you to start seeing. Can you see why this would be, think of it as a piece of real estate that you are creating that you can collect rent on forever. And this is just one of the monetization ways we'll talk about. We're gonna be talking about many different monetization methods. I could be utilizing different player names. So this is how I would rotate. And guess what? All these people, mixtape videos, they are just people who started a channel like M54 underscore 17. I'm pretty sure if you look at his channel, this guy doesn't show his face. And you will see that from his channel, they're all compilations of other people. So that's number two. Do your keyword research and start thinking about what are the different keywords. Could it be top five something, top 10 something? Look at what other people are doing in any market, in any niche. So that's number two. That brings us to number three. After you have determined what these keywords are, you need to produce this video. How do you produce this video the right way without infringing on copyright laws? So this is the next step, right? So so let's, let's go back to my initial gaming example. So let's say I type in Overwatch top place, okay? So now I'm taking a look at these different videos in here, okay? And I'm starting to see like, okay, these videos that has done well. So for example, this video here that has got 441,000 views uploaded two months ago, okay? So this video over here, so I'm, I'm seeing another ad, okay? Now again, when I see an ad, what does this mean? It means that this video is actually monetizing, okay? This ad is, this video is monetizing and that's why an ad is able to, to be shown. Right? So how is this person doing it without showing their face? This is just a compilation of the actual player, okay? So the question is, 
what is the right way to compile and edit and render these videos? So back to this initial example, Overwatch, right? The way you do it is after you do a search, you see this part here? Under the menu on the filter section, you will see this part that says Creative Commons. Now this part is crucial to make sure that you are not going to infringe on any copyright laws or get your video demonetized. It means that you'll be able to utilize these videos and compilations. And, and this is just one of many methods to start compiling videos from multiple sources. Okay, so that's number one. Number one is utilize Creative Commons. The second way that you can actually do this is to take from other sources outside of YouTube. So for example, if I'm a gamer, I could actually go on Twitch and the right way to do it would be to ask for permission from these different content creators on Twitch, if it's a gaming channel, and saying, uh, I would love to be able to showcase your work. And in return, I will have your link in my YouTube description so that I'll be able to credit you, that's number one, and also send you traffic so that people know that you're one of the sources, right? So if you do this right way, ask for permission, uh, you'll realize that a lot of times people will be willing because why? You're actually showing their work and it gives them more reach and more visibility as well, okay? So that's another way. So now you're gonna start compiling these different videos from multiple sources, okay? Whatever market, whatever niche, whatever theme that you've picked, okay? So let's say I, I want to start compiling this video and I want to utilize this as a source. So the way I will do that after that is, looks like we might be seeing another ad over here. Let's find out. Oh, wow, can you see that? This is actually an ad for myself. Insane, okay, anyway, so I had a YouTube ad running. What does that tell you? <laughs> Notice that was the first ad, now there's a second ad that's happening right now. It tells you that even this video, it's not demonetized. They are actually making money off their videos because ads are running on their channel, right? So I hope that you can see that this is not theory. This is literally something that is that people are doing, okay? So now, if I wanted to download this video, what would I do? I would just go to this site, Y2Mate, and I'm going to put that video in here. I will start and I will be able to download this video as one of the videos where I'll be able to compile from multiple various sources. Now, this is the key here. The key here is to understand that you're not just ripping, you're not, you're not ripping people off, okay? This is about adding value so that you make the video either more interesting, more entertaining, more fun, more engaging. If, if existing videos that you've been compiling is from three ways, you could have 10 ways, right? Um, shuffle things up and spice things up. That's how you add value into editing it, okay? Now, there are many different sources that you could utilize to edit and render videos, but once you start compiling them, that is when you create your own spin on that thing, on that compilation, okay? Whether it's dog training, whether it is a certain sport, whether it's computer games, just think about how can you actually add value to make that video a whole lot more interesting? And that's number three, rendering and editing and producing that video. And that brings us to number four. Number four is about optimization. Now that you have this video created, I'm not gonna go deep into editing videos because that's not the purpose of this, this video right now. But once you have edited that video and compiled it from various sources and added your own spin to it, what do you do? That is when you actually optimize the video. Now, I've covered YouTube SEO in, in other videos, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on this. I'll make sure to link our other uh, resource on YouTube SEO in the description box below. Make sure you watch that video if you wanna go in depth. But this is where you would literally start looking at the videos that has been uploaded and start to notice how, a couple of things. Number one, how they titled the video, okay? Notice how in the description box, their, their tags, how have they optimized the video so that you can model what is actually proven to be working, okay? So in terms of their tags, their description box, their titles, especially the thumbnail, which will significantly affect whether people click on it or not. You'll notice that all of these different videos that you're seeing in the YouTube results, they all have thumbnails that pop. They all have the subtitles that makes it an interesting, either it stirs up curiosity, 
where pe it makes people want to click on that specific video. So that's how you optimize it. And you optimize by looking at what other people are doing, model their titles, their tags, because that's proven to be working because it's ranking on the search engines, which is YouTube in this case here. And finally, that is when you go into monetization. Now monetization, once you have these videos done, right? Again, it's about a very conservative $100 a day. You could easily scale it up to 500 or even $1,000 a day, but everyone starts somewhere. How do you actually monetize? Well, you have a few different options here. Your first option is through the default YouTube ads, which is about, again, a thousand views gives you about $3. Then the truth is like for me, I don't even rely on YouTube ads to make money. That's not how I make money, okay? That's the first starting step. But after that, that is when you could literally monetize by promoting other people's products. So, so let's talk about that for a second. So for example, um, let's take a look for, uh, for, for example, Amazon, okay? So imagine that right now I have this gaming channel, okay? And in my gaming channel, I'm thinking of monetizing beyond just typical YouTube ads or Google AdSense, okay? So how do I actually do that? So Amazon has got this program called Amazon Associates where you can sign up and Amazon will pay you whenever you refer people that buy stuff on Amazon. Okay, so this is for promoting physical products. So can you imagine if I typed in, uh, for example, gaming headset. So gaming headset, this is where if I have a gaming channel, I'm asking myself, gamers who are watching my channel, what are the kind of stuff that they might be interested in because they're watching this video? Okay, if they are into gaming, they might be interested in a gaming head headset. They might be interested in gaming keyboard and mouse, okay? So now I could sign up for Amazon Associates and in my YouTube description box below that video that says, hey, if you are a serious gamer think, thinking about taking your gaming experience to a whole new level, then um, these are some devices that this pro player utilizes, okay? So this pro player is currently utilizing the Razer headset, the mecha this mechanical keyboard, and this is where you would have your affiliate links promoting this physical product that your audience is going to buy because it actually helps them with that specific result that they're looking for, okay? So ask yourself, what would that be if you were to promote a product, okay? So this is basic affiliate marketing. Now, if you are promoting a digital product, for digital products, one of the world's largest marketplaces for digital products would be ClickBank. Now, ClickBank's commission rate is going to be a whole lot higher because digital doesn't have any fixed cost associated to it. So this is when you could promote home study courses, eBooks, membership sites on that specific topic. So whether it's dog training, whether it's health, whether it's a keto diet, whether it's recipes, ClickBank would have those different products. And this is how you can start monetizing by promoting digital products. Now, there's a lot of different affiliate programs out there. This is just two out of thousands in, in existence. These are two good ones to start looking at for physical products as well as digital products. And this is how you can actually start building that initial visibility that following the subscriber base by following a theme and eventually monetizing it with YouTube views or affiliate products. Okay, so I hope this video um, has given you the clarity towards how you can actually start generating from $100 a day from YouTube videos without showing your face. And as always, guys, let me know in the comments below um, what you've learned and especially if you're committed to starting out. Let me know what your channel is. I might go take a look at it, give you feedback, as well as if you like this channel, smash the like button. It does help out this channel a little bit and be sure to click on the notification, subscribe, bell button for more videos just like this one.